This is from PFF Week 3 preview storyline for uh, every game for the Browns. Browns likely to see a number of key players returning from injury. Um, could mark the return of Jedrick Wills, Jack Conklin. Both are listed as questionable, as we said earlier in the show. Have yet to see the field yet this season. Perfect timing, giving this week's matchup with the Giants, who lay claim to the second highest team pass rush win rate, 50.8% in the NFL through two weeks despite some troubles converting wins into pressures. Um, I did not realize the, the pass rush win rate. Uh, that's got to be a concern because uh, that was what caused problems for Deshaun Watson against the Cowboys. Absolutely, and you're talking about a talented front, right? The Giants are 0-2 and they have a lot of other problems, but you can't deny the talent on their defensive line with Dexter Lawrence, with Brian Burns, with Kayvon Thibodeau. I think it's the number one issue when you're playing the Giants is pass protection, especially Lawrence on the inside. He's incredible. You could argue he's the best defensive tackle in the league right now. So, look, last week Watson made a lot of plays against Jacksonville under pressure. Josh Hines-Allen for the Jags was really good in that game, but Watson responded and he made plays and he kept moving the chains on the move. So I think that's an encouraging thing to see Watson's legs being used a little bit more, even if it is to throw. Uh, that this is this is the number one concern. If the offensive tackles are healthy and the Browns feel like their starting five is good enough to block this team, then they should absolutely win. But the Giants do have the type of defensive line that can cause a lot of offenses problems and can turn again one of those low scoring defensive games. I think that's a game the Giants would prefer to play. They didn't come away with a win last week, but it's kind of the game that it turned into for them against Washington. If they can stay in that low scoring game with the Browns and their defensive line starts dominating the game, the Giants then have a chance.